Well, a Chicago billionaire gave the largest known political donation to a political advocacy group in history worth $1.6 billion dollars according to new reporting from the lever 90 year old Barry side gave the massive sum to a nonprofit run by leonard leo who co-chairs the conservative legal group the federalist society andrew perez joins us now to discuss further andrew welcome to rising thank you thanks for having me so leonard leo um gave this don leonard leo's group actually put out a release i think is the case uh, announcing this donation right we're not just relying on reports this is publicly we know that the sum is 1.6 billion it's not straight to fedsoc it's to another group that leo started right yeah yeah so um the 1.6 billion dollars is reflected in the first tax return released by um, this new group from uh, Leonard Leo called the Marble Freedom Trust. Um, we, we've been working on this story, uh, the Lever team in ProPublica for, for quite a while, um, looking at um, some documents that we were given um, showing the transaction, uh, detailing how this money went from this uh, Chicago uh, billionaire, uh, Barry Side, to the Marble Freedom Trust and, and how they, um, you know, sort of gamed the tax code to maximize the the most amount of money here. Um, so Barry's side actually donated um, his entire company, um, this company called Triplate, uh, this electronics and surge protector manufacturer, um, for, he donated the entire company, put it into this trust, which then sold the company for $1.6 billion. And by handling it that way, it, it, it helped him avoid probably up to $400 million in taxes and it maximized the amount of money that's now at the uh, disposal of Leonard Leo. And so I want to get to the substance of all this in a second, but I'm fascinated by the reporting process as well. Did, did they hear footsteps? Did they know that you were about to publish? Did you go to them for comment and then all of a sudden they announced it publicly? Or how did, mm -hmm. how did all this unfold? We honestly do not know what happened. Um, <laughs> we, just, we just know the New York Times had a, had a story. Um, it sounded like they had heard from some people in the, in the Leo orbit. Um, so yeah, we, we woke up to that Monday and we, uh, you know, decided it was time to, uh, also race our stories, uh, story out as well. So the, the Federal Society is probably the most well-known of the groups that Leo operates. And, uh, there's, you know, Sheldon Whitehouse likes to get out his board and do the sort of Charlie Day, um, you know, the, the conspiracy theory thing, uh, the Pepe, Sil Pepe Silva thing. But, um, what do we know about Marble Freedom Trust uh, now that it has $1.6 billion dollars uh that's an incredible sum of money and what do we know about what leo's plans for that particular group are are they to provide grants to other different organizations are they going to be doing their own types of initiatives what's marble freedom trust up to yeah yeah um so i think you know what we've seen from the tax return is it's uh, helping finance leo's kind of existing network um already um and so i would i would expect the money to be passed around both within his network and outside it um you know they they now kind of have the money to really expand um his his conservative vision here um you know so obviously i guess i should say that uh, leo was trump's judicial advisor uh, played a a key role in selecting uh, in making uh, or determining the current makeup of the supreme court um, you know, and designing it to overturn abortion rights. Um, I, I believe that this is sort of uh, an effort to expand their their uh, their reach. And you know, the thing about this kind of money is, um, you know, you, you can spend it over time if if they're if they're uh, smart with it. They can really just kind of spend it over time, and you know, maybe not even tap into the kind of uh, original principle if uh, if if they invest right. And Emily, I want to ask you more of this because. Like who? Who's Leonard Leo? And like, what are they going to do with this money? Like, what's, yeah. and were you surprised? You're like, wow, this is a lot of money. Yeah. And this can transform what they do. Or you're like, well, they already have a ton of money, and this will just make them a little bit more supercharged. This is a, a truly incredible sum of money, and I, I'm sure Andrew can speak to that too. Covering this sort of thing. I mean, I sort of work in the conservative movement. I work for a conservative movement group uh, part time. Similarly and, named, but. 
not uh, connected. Oh, the Federalist. Right? Yeah, I also work for Young America's Foundation's right. National Journalism Center part time. And uh, Leonard Leo is a really well respected man in the conservative movement, been around for years. And on the heels of the Trump administration getting three justices confirmed, mm -hmm. it's not entirely surprising that he's where a huge sum of money is going because that, you know, if, you, if you're in the conservative sort of donor circles, I imagine is a huge selling point. Look at he's what I can done. do with right. the funding. Right, yeah. So, but, but one. 1.6 billion, and Andrew, we can uh, toss this one to you. What, like, just talk to us about where that sum stands in, in sort of average political donations, or not political, like donations to groups like this, which I imagine is a, a C3 or C4, um, on both the right and the left, because it's true there are huge funders of particular causes on the left as well, absolutely no question about it, even to dark money groups. Um, but 1.6 billion is, is a pretty unbelievable sum. Yeah, yeah. Well, so as best we can tell to date, Leo's kind of existing network, not counting the Federalist Society, had raised about $460 million uh, since since 2005, which is, again, not a small sum, but, you know, this is nearly four times that. Um, and then, you know, how it compares kind of within the within the kind of liberal and conservative movements. Um, the closest comparisons would be, you know, there was like this $1.5 billion donation to a George Soros group called the Fund for Policy Reform. Um, it, more recently, there was a $1.2 billion donation to a nonprofit um, that's uh, run by Chase Koch, who's uh, Charles Koch's son. Um, and you know, so this, you know, exceeds those. Clearly, Barry Sy didn't have that level of money, um, but he did manage to package his entire company into you know, the biggest one-time donation that we've ever seen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a, it's a windfall. A staggering, <laughs> just a staggering amount of money. And, and maybe Emily would be able to answer this too, but so w once he's successfully overturned Roe v. Wade and then he's taking abortion rights back to the states where it will be fought over there, is this money then going to f flood into state legislative races somehow so that Republicans can then pick up state legislatures and then they can ban abortion you know, in places that haven't banned it yet. Is that, is that the vision or what, what's your sense of where this is headed? Um, well, so, you know, the Leo Network has been the, the biggest kind of long-term financier of the Republican Attorneys General Association. I would assume that you would see some of this flood into those races. Um, you know, they've also been active in state Supreme Court races in, in, in the past. Um, they have funded the Republican Governors Association a bit. They have donated some to the Republican State Leadership Committee. I do think you're going to see more um, some state level spending from uh, Leo affiliated groups. I mean, you know, we saw some some of that in um, the, the Kansas abortion fight. Um, one of those groups that was attempting to uh, overturn uh, Kansas sort of uh, constitutional right to an abortion is this group called Catholic Vote. They've they've long been, you know, tied to, to the Leo network. They haven't gotten a ton of money from them in the past, but, um, you know, they did drop $500,000 into this uh, super PAC run by uh, former Kansas Congressman uh, Tim Hulescamp um, that uh, they're, they're the group that actually sent those text messages to every single Kansan. Um, so like these really misleading text messages trying to get out the uh, get, get out the vote there um, around the abortion measure. It's interesting because uh, when Dobbs came to the court and there was that waiting period, um, it, a lot of people on the right were actually very anxious that the sort of FedSoc approved judges were not going to be uh, the, the right people to overturn Roe and that they would um, flake, basically. And, and so there, there was some sort of skepticism, I think, of the, the Federalist Society crowd at that point and Leonard Leo at that point. Obviously, those fears turned out to uh, not be uh, in, entirely well placed on the right, uh, but all that is to say, Andrew, uh, another element of this, perfectly legal, um, but you can probably explain how this donation uh, was structured in a way uh, to minimize any taxes that would be owed. Uh, from my understanding, everything that was done was just with, within the tax code, but within the tax code when you have uh, lawyers who can help you stay within the tax code. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, the, the transaction here is pretty incredible. Um, so by putting the uh, this this company into a nonprofit side was able to avoid 400 million in taxes we believe up to that that amount um, that money then got to because this is a tax exempt group it all just stayed with the nonprofit there was there was no tax on 
on the sale here. And you can, you, I mean, you know that for a fact too, because you know the company was sold for one point six billion dollars, and that's how much money went into the Marble Freedom Trust. Mm. Great, four hundred million dollar subsidy for the yep. Federal Society, basically wonderful. Well, a lot isn't, more isn't than that. that. Isn't that sweet? Yeah, it's. I mean, he. These groups are. It's, it's a very multifaceted kind of network. There's a lot of groups right, right. doing different things. Um, and we're spreading. We're spreading the tax dollars around. They definitely yeah. are. We're, spread, we're spreading the love all over the right wing network. Wonderful. It's so so nice of us. Yeah. How generous of the give American people. The, give some yeah. to the vast left wing conspiracy yeah. next time, Barry. <laughs> Andrew, thank you so much for your time and for your reporting. Thank you. Appreciate it. We'll be back with more Rising right after this.